Open CArt.ai, log in, and open generation options, and click on Comfy UI. Comfy UI is an interface for stable diffusion. You can build different workflows using this interface and share them with others. But instead of using your CPU GPU for generations, with CR AI, you can use Comfy UI online for free. Amount of free daily credits can change, but now you have 150 credits so you can create few dozens of images. This is not full Comfy UI tutorial. In this video, I'll just show you the essential things and how it works in CR AI. Here you can see the default workflow which contains seven nodes connected to each other. First node is checkpoint node where you can choose model you want to use. You can change the dimensions of every node or change color. Each node has inputs on the left where the wires come in and outputs on the right where the wires go out. Here is positive prompt and negative prompt nodes. I'll change colors to green and red. Empty latent image node. Here you can set amount of images you want to get in dimensions. You can use arrows or input the values manually. Case sampler node. Here are seed controls. Use fixed if you want to use the same seed in the next generations. Increment means that the next generation seed value will be bigger than current by one. Decrement will make opposite. Random is for different seed each time. Amount of generation steps and CFG scale. Here, you can set the sampling algorithm. Scheduler controls how the noise level should change in each step. Denoise is how much of the initial noise should be erased by the denoising process. One means all. VE decoder. Save image node is often used for displaying generated images, but here final results can be found on the history section. And now I'll show you how it works. I won't change default prompts. Images are ready. Each image is 1000 by 1000 pixels. If you want to add some node, double click left mouse button and search for this node. For example, I want to add Laura. Here is it. First of all, I'll connect corresponding inputs and outputs. And then choose some Laura from the list. And another generation to see what will change. Okay. There is no significant difference, so I'll try another model. For example, Mainamix. Little bottle is only visible on the second image, but both images are nice. Save button is for saving your workflow online in your account. You can download it to your device's JSON file. New is for creating new workflow. You can create blank project, image to image template, text to image, or open workflow from a file. In my workflow section, you can see the list of all your projects saved online. You can clean current workflow. Here is option for changing project name. And finally, you can also make your workflow visible to other users on the CR.ai. Thanks for watching.